Uh, pressure. Some of these gas get hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act goofy, stretch quick. Pressure. Some of these gas get hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act goofy, stretch quick. Yo, yo, what is up? What is up? It's me, it's me, it's me, it's Key, and I'm back. I'm in the building with another video. It's your first time here ever, Key, in the building. YouTube page, I suggest you hit that bell. Follow your notifications so that you know when I do go live. And videos such as this one, and I got y'all covered. Sixers, Philadelphia Eagles, the Flyers, and the uh, Sixers. I think I might have forgot somebody, but let's get into it. It's been a minute since y'all seen a video in the car. It's been a minute since y'all seen a video in the car, but got some things to talk about. Um, one being that game last night. Sixers beat the Cleveland Cavaliers 103 to 93 in another, another dominant performance by the MVP. Yes, I'm calling it MVP, Joel. MB a triple double 40 10 and 14 y'all heard it right 40 points 10 assists 14 rebounds he is up on the list with Will Chamberlain what other big man do you know can say he's done that Joel MB he did this nasty posterizing dunk on Jared Allen. And I know Jared Allen is going, it, that's going to be a frank picture forever. Because I've seen the still picture of it. And I'm just like, oh my God. Joel Embiid is the, is, is the best big man right now. Come at me with the argument saying he's not. He is. He's the best big man right now. And all up and down my timeline today, I just see nothing but hate. Oh, Joel is this, Joel is that. He's not the best big man. He's 7'3". We're talking about right now in this era. Right now in this era. We know about the Shaqs and the Wilt Chamberlains and the Oscar Robinsons and those type of guys. The King Olajuwon. We're talking about right now in this era. I don't know what era. We know each era had their own big men. And back then it was all about the forwards and the, and the centers that played hard-nosed defense. Not this stupid uh, offense in three seconds when you can't rim protect. We're not talking about back then, because we all know back then in those days, the centers was the truth. You had your Shaqs, you had your um, Duncan, uh, not Duncan Robinson, we had David Robinson and those guys who protect the rim. We're talking about right now. We know it's a different era because you know right now centers can shoot the ball, shoot the three-pointer, and can shoot the little mid-range and everything like that. Joel Embiid is one of those type of centers who can shoot a three, who can have a step back mid-range and a floater and, and a fadeaway. We've seen it last night and all this season. He perfected the Dirk Nowinski shot. And Dirk himself even was like, just amazed of what this 7-3 monster can do and his footwork is impeccable for a big man and he shoots about 80 to 90 percent from the free throw line Shaq couldn't shoot crooks Shaq could not shoot nothing from uh, the free throw line if it saved if life depended on it Shaq was a horrible free throw shooter horrible free throw shooter So we're talking about right now in this era. Embiid is the best big man right now. Yeah, Shaq has four championship rings. And y'all can put it in there, oh, he's not because, you know, Joel's not because he don't have the rings. What big man right now you know has the best footwork, has the best game and skill set of a Joel Embiid right now? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Please let me know. I'll wait. Let me know. And now we're teaming him up with a James Harden? Come on. Come on. This, this, this season, he could have got MVP last year if he was healthy. Honestly, if he would have got MVP last year, he would have been a back-to-back -back MVP. 
back to back. Because there's no doubt about it. This year, he's getting MVP, and you you cannot not give it to him. You can't. You can't. He's been dominant through, through the past twenty or thirty some odd games with over twenty plus points. Teams are double teaming him now. This is why he's up there with assist. You can get the ball open to the open guy and they can knock down the shot. But name again, name one center right now who has the skill set of a Joel Embiid. Not Rudy Gobert's French fry self. No. Not Gobert. I'm talking about a true number five. A true number five right now. I know in the NBA you don't you don't see too many true centers. You can say AD, but AD's not a center to me. He's a power forward. Right now, name somebody in the league who's got a, a skill set. Y'all might can say Nikola Jokic. Joker, okay, he passes better than Embiid. But he, he no, he is not on Embiid's level right now. Definitely not. But great dominant win by the Sixers. Beating the Cleveland Cavaliers by 10, 103 to 93. Joel's dominant performance. Again, let me know in the comments who has a better skill set than Joel Embiid if y'all don't think it's JoJo. But as always, guys, I'm in the building. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all come on over to the Spotlight Sports Network later on. Again, we got y'all covered on the Super Bowl play by play. If y'all have not seen the interviews, I had media access to Super Bowl Media Day. I did get the interview uh, some Rams and Bengals players. So make sure y'all check that out on the channel as well. And I'm always in the building, guys. I'll see y'all in another video.